Our first friend, Jessica. Yeah, um, it's uh, angle of R. Angle of R. No, wait, angle of, yeah. No, critical angle. Critical angle would be the last one. The critical angle. The symbol for the critical angle, Carlo. Um, theta sub C. Theta sub C. Curry, another. To add to our table of friends. Uh, the, uh, the index of the refraction. The index of refraction is the first one. The index of refraction. <coughs> Symbol for the index of refraction. Bless you, Kraus. Uh, it's a lowercase n. A lowercase n, the dimensions for the index of refraction. Dana? None. It does not have any dimensions. The equation for the index of refraction, I'm not looking for Snell's law, but rather the definition of the index of refraction. Andy? Um, this C over B. <laughs> the whole equation. Refraction is equal to C over B. C over V. Ah, yes, letters. What is C, Lily? Bless you. It is the speed of light, Pooja. Also the speed of electromagnetic waves, but I, don't worry, still need more. In a vacuum. In a vacuum, that is C. What is V? Mr. Smith. In the speed of the electromagnetic waves in the medium. What happens to light when it enters a medium, Carlos? What happens to the speed? Uh, it, decreases. it decreases. Therefore, the index of refraction is always going to have what values? Hello. Greater than one. We'll say greater than or equal to one because we could be talking about a vacuum as well. So realize the index of refraction is always greater than or equal to one. More friends to add to our table of friends. Redburn. Um. Bless you. not had the angle of incidence yet, so we'll do the angle of incidence. Symbol for angle of incidence. Um, Mary. Theta. Theta sub i, the angle <coughs> of incidence. We have another angle, Emily X. Uh, angle of refraction. Angle of refraction. Symbol for the angle of refraction, please. Lindsay. Theta sub r. Theta sub r. All of our angles have the same dimensions. What are the dimensions here? Dana? Angle of instance, angle of refraction, and critical angle all have the angle. Dana, her degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Dana, her degrees or? or radians. They could be, we don't often do them in radians, but we could use radians. All right, we need a couple of equations here. We need one that's going to encompass both angle of refraction and angle of incidence, and one for the critical angle. Since the critical angle is sine of the critical angle equals the index of refraction. I'm sorry, so it's the incident on index of refraction and what was on the topic? The refracted index of refraction. That is the equation for the critical angle. What low is the critical angle? Um, the 
That would be the definition, I agree. I want to know what it is. It, I agree, it's the minimum incident angle at which all instant uh, light is totally internally reflected. But what happens if the incident angle, what we need for the incident angle in order to get total internal reflection? At what angle relative to the critical angle will all the light stay in the block and none of it leave? Look. Uh, it has to be greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to the critical angle. As long as the incident angle is greater than or equal to the critical angle, all of the light will stay in and you will get total internal reflection. Mitch, the equation for angle of incidence and angle of refraction. Uh, the index, uh, the incident index for real. Refraction times the sine of the angle of incidence equals the refracted index of refraction times the sine of the refracted angle. Great. The incident index of refraction times the sine of the refracted angle is equal to the refracting index of refraction times the sine of the refracted angle. Good. We have now added to our table of friends.